Y'all know the vibes of Don Jones, a.k.a. Baritone, deepest voice in the game. Checking in, but not with the Outrighteous Podcast here with Button Mashing. Um, I got a special guest. I like to call my family member here with me today. Uh, DJ, producer. He wears very many hats. Uh, DJ Corey Grand. My good brother. How you doing, sir? How you feeling? I'm chilling, I'm chilling. Yes, sir. So uh, we'll be playing today. All right, bet. So you said you had got your three. Bet, we right three, here. You got your three. You saying? going with the uh, Clippers. All right, yeah, bet. I'm I mean, that's Brooklyn. the best out of the three, man. I'm going with Brooklyn. Man. All right. I could have went with the Warriors and splashed on you with Steph. You feel me? But they don't got Clay. Um, I might have taken a real L. I'm about to take the dub real quick. You know what I'm saying? I got confidence. You got confidence? I got confidence. You know, got to up the confidence. Um, before you even really get, you know, fully started. So. You know, we family. I was in the car Cousin. listening. Yeah, cousins, family. You already know how that go. You know, Auntie Lisa's son. You feel me? I was uh, I was listening to Geek, Geek, hey. Geek AF. You hey. know, on the, on the way on the way to the crib the other day, and I was thinking, my man, you just got a new project that dropped. You know, tell me about that project. What was the inspiration behind it? It was called uh, Westside Market, right? Westside Market. Westside Market. So uh, yeah, man, we just had that drop April twenty second for Earth Day. Uh, it was crazy, man. It was just like a project that like. We was kind of just promoting us, like we're, you know, we all a little older, man. We just kind of promoting like the 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 lifestyle we live, like right. you know what I'm saying. We big on like being healthy, big on taking care of ourselves, taking care of our mental, making sure our boys is cool, right. making sure our homegirls is cool. So <clears throat> it was the, that's really was like what was the inspiration behind the project, and then we just kind of tied it to a thing. Right, for sure. I mean? So so since I mean we're gonna we're gonna go down that road real quick. So we saying, do you think that that now that we're older, we 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 cherish we'll say like a better terms life a little bit more? Cause you know when you young, young you mad reckless. Yeah. I don't know about yeah. you, but I was mad reckless. I I mean you know you get older, man, and, and as you get older, you know you gain more knowledge. Like as time go on, hopefully you do you gain more knowledge. Right. I like so, I like what you did there though. While I was while I was already looking at you, you was still you was still, you was ready to play and shit. You know, all love, man. I'm just getting filling it out. I haven't played the new Xbox yet. This is pretty new to me. But, you know, I think we just, yeah, we, we gain more knowledge as we get older, man, you know. And we want to try to apply that even in, you know what I'm saying, music, too. Oh, you know for I mean? sure. So, with you being a DJ, producer, all that, which um, which route would you say you enjoy more? Because you, you're clearly making music. Yeah. That's clear. Um, hold on. Come see you over here. You play. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> hey, yo, chill out. Hey, yo, chill out. So, <laughs> yo, he, hey, yo, hey, yo, chill out. Love, and look, love, and look, he over got the computer guard for him it's and all shit. Love. Nah, man, I'm just trying to get oh, give me a bucket. 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 But no, man. So, which which hat do you prefer wearing? Cause you know you got the producer bag. Yeah. Um. To be honest, man, it's kind of hard to pick both to pick between them two because. They're so different, you know, like, right. you might have, like, DJing is not really like producing. It's not even close. So it's like, personally, I probably, I don't know if I could really pick, but if I had to, probably, man, probably, uh, probably DJing, man. It's okay. nothing like seeing people, okay. like, seeing people excited, seeing how, like, just seeing what you're doing translate to actual, like, happiness on the floor. That's a little different. You can't beat that. Like, in the studio, it's cool. Like I love being in the studio, but you can't beat that on the dance floor. Right, bro. it's a different, it's a different, it's different. vibe when you're in the studio vibe, for you know? sure. So if you had to pick a project that you got, which one would you say is your favorite project? My project, like like yeah, like Corey Grant or Corey Grant or 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 like as a range of anything. Corey Grant, Corey Grant, just Corey Grant. <clears throat> um, probably Water Your Plants, man. That'd probably be my favorite one. Uh, I like that one a lot because that was the one that like drew me back into making music. Right. You know, so kind of just. Come on, give me that. Give me that. Come on, Lord. But you um, know, but I would say I would say water your plants, man. That was a really that was a project that got me back into creating again and um and having a love for you know having a love for producing again and just getting back into it. So I think uh, yeah, that was the one. That was okay. the one. All right. So then with being from Ohio, you know Midwest, which um that's and one. Come on, man. Stop playing. Um, if you had to pick an artist or somebody who's come out of Ohio, like. Kid Cudi, MGK, uh -huh. Chip. Which one would you say is most influential, and we'll say also your favorite? That come out of Ohio. That came out of Ohio. Even if even if you have somebody who who I just didn't mention. Yeah. Oh uh, man, that's a good question. Uh, oddly enough, man, I had this one dude that was from Columbus. Man, his name was P Black. Uh, I don't really. He doesn't really make as much music as he used to, but he was really one of my favorites coming out of Columbus. Um, 
Yeah. Have you, are you up to him? Have you ever heard of P Black? I'm gonna be real with you, nah. Okay. Yeah, you should go back and check some of his stuff, man. <laughs> really, really dope artist, man. Okay, One of my favorites. Sure. And, it, it, and what's cool about him is that he actually is a dope visual artist and he uh, he did covers for me. He did like two, okay. I think three covers for me, which he did Water Your Plants for me. Right, so, you okay. know, that's why he, okay, he kind of right. special. You know right, I mean? right, so, right. Special, you know, special spot in your heart for that spot, one. man. You know what I mean? Because I like artistry as a whole. You know, I don't really, it don't really necessarily have to be, you know, somebody that's that's in music you know i just respect right. artistry you know from all spectrums right that's definitely real that's definitely real so so corey outside of the the producer bag the artist bag what do you just enjoy doing besides you know cheating in 2k you only up by one <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm only up by one man i'm struggling for real but uh honestly man uh i really like uh i really like art man like i love to go to the art museum and i just really uh appreciate nature bro like i like you know if i have a day where I don't have nothing going on. You, you can catch me outside, like for real, seriously. So you like, just <laughs> like not even outside. like kicking it, that? but no, for real, man. I like, I love nature, bro. Like I'm a really grounded person, so it's just fun to be out. You know what I'm saying? Just, so you just outside, really just enjoying nature, or are you like yeah. taking pictures? You sitting down with a both. sketchbook? A little bit of both. A little bit of both. Like I like going on hikes. Okay. And, you know stuff like that. You be going through hikes to the metro parks? Some of them depends. You might see me at one. I, you know, it's a few different ones. I got. I got a couple ones in the cut I can't tell you all about. Okay, so, like, so <laughs> like when you- I don't want to see y'all there, man. Nah, I'm just talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> He's out of one. <laughs> Let me find out you got something going on in there. <laughs> going on, what you, what you got going on, Corey? <laughs> come on, oh, come on. And one. I guess we don't get oh, rebounds. They're not giving me no files, man. Who's that, who's that blocking move? Come on, man, that's Blake. That's Blake. <laughs> No, we both struggling. It's a good oh, look, man, since we, Look, since we're playing 2K, man, game. I'm going to be real with you. Who, who you got winning the NBA uh, Finals? And you better say the right answer. Man, I've had like three different teams that I thought was going to win, honestly. And one, give me them. Nah, I thought, uh, honestly, I thought, you know, of course, Brian is from the, you know, that's, that's home team. So I wanted him to win. But once he got booted, I was really enjoying it, watching the Suns. I'm not going to lie. Okay. They were really fun to watch. Okay. Right now, I still think KD got it, man. I'm not going to lie. Uh, if KD can stay right. healthy, I mean, who can really, nobody can beat KD, bro. Uh, Name somebody. Who can I guard mean, him? Who can guard him? Who can guard, who can guard him? him? I mean, like, I feel you can guard him, but you know, we got. he's not going to play 42 minutes a game. Of course not. He's not going to play 48 minutes a game every not. single game. Because that's clearly what they need I, to win. I just want you to know, name one person that can guard him. I'm, I'm not. I can't tell you somebody who's going to guard him. nobody can. You're right. <laughs> I, I completely agree with you. Nobody can guard Come on, give me one. I guard. completely agree with you. Can't nobody guard KD, but there's five people on the court at one time. I don't have to. KD can drop 49 game one, but he definitely not 40, dropping 49 uh, game two. That's facts, but I say this. Who, who, Donovan if, Mitchell if and the if, Jazz. If, 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 if it's, Donovan Mitchell and the Jazz, for it, sure. Who you putting your money on at the end I'm of the game? My money, I'm putting my money on the Jazz. Okay. I'm putting my money on the Jazz. So I'm assuming you putting your money on, on uh, Brooklyn then? I put my money on reality. KD is the best player <laughs> in the league right now. If we're talking about anybody that's in the playoffs, nobody's better than KD. Name, name one person. Right, I understand. I feel you. I feel you. Look, okay. You better come on. Five seconds. Give me five, okay. ref. <laughs> come on. Uh, give me them. Okay. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> that was scared. My fault, man. Hey, look, man. Come I on, man. Come you. on, man. I ain't worried about none of that. Come on, man. We still, we live. We active. Let's get this money. It's all love, bro. Oh, it for sure is. Man, that's a good pick. Let me know. All right, come on. Let's get into it, man, because I ain't been paying attention. I'm to the line. Uh, yeah, I hear you. I'm to the line. Yeah, I hear you. To the, the line. Wow. We was over the limit. Hold on. What was the buttons, you know, to make the screen shake? I think, yeah, you the home team. Ain't that, ain't that we make the screen shake? <laughs> yeah, right. I'm in my bag. By any means necessary. Malcolm said that best. For sure. Hold on, I'm definitely not about to ask you nothing. We ain't about to talk about nothing for this last 12 seconds. Oh. You should have shot that, bro. No. You should have shot that. Kyrie. You don't see that. Look at that. You, you should have shot that. You don't see that cold under there? You should have shot that. Give me them. Hell no. Clippers. Yeah. Dang, why are you asking so many questions? <laughs> you know, Is you, what, who are we talking to? Who are we talking to? I see, I see what it is. Come on, it's 11, it's 11, 16. Come on, man, start the third, man. Come on, man, stop playing with me, man. It's all love, bro. Uh, yeah, hold on. I need a bucket real quick, though. What's up? What's up? And one. Come on. Hey, man. So we about to go back, you know, messing with, you know, talking to Auntie Lisa the other day. Talking to Auntie Lisa. Talking to Auntie Lisa the other day, man. 
you uh you was out here scratching up her uh <laughs> scratching up her <laughs> joints back in the day. No, now Oh yeah, bank time. Hey! Um He almost blew that, man. Uh almost, 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 almost shoulda woulda coulda is only Bright Night song. Um but anyway, so you were scratching up you were scratching up Auntie Lisa's joints. Um she whipped your ass for that? You can tell me. Nah, actually no, believe it or not, no. She didn't. She did. She didn't. So what she thought that, what, so what'd you do? How'd you swing that? Because I know, I know Granny, Granny for sure got mad at me when I scratched up her uh come on man. Come on, stop reaching. Uh, scratch up her joints. So what I was like, oh, I'm I'm passionate. You know, this was this is my passion. What what was that? Uh, hey, look, you know what? Honestly, I was just got away with it. She, you know, she wasn't really wouldn't really, <laughs> really know about it. But but nonetheless, I think that I mean, she didn't buy me a real turntable, so I kind of so, looked at it like, you so know, it was kind of like, like a, uh, you, know, you owe like, me this right here. Let, let, let me rock a little bit. She didn't care about the records anyway. Like, I don't think she cared. It was kind of old. It wasn't even like good records. Like, so, so what do you consider good <laughs> records? Cause don't don't tell me had the earth wind and fire going to talk. Oh, this ain't a good record. It was like uh ooh. Yeah, that was ooh. That was Yo, who was that back there talking? <laughs> <laughs> nah, but <laughs> <laughs> Yo, who was the back, back there talking? Uh, hey, hey, come on, man. Right back at it. Right back at it. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. We having a, a better game, you know. Oh, yeah, some, sure, some people, sure, man. some people, you man. know. The last, the last joint, I, you know, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna drop no names or nothing. Drop no, drop no points or nothing. You <laughs> feel all me? Love. Right. It's all, always all love. <laughs> Dang, you would send him to the line. But it's all love. It's, 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 it's all love for sure. So, man, what was you getting in trouble for as a kid, man? Kind of, I was getting in trouble getting for trouble? breaking something. I was sober. I was always breaking something. You know what? Honestly, bro, I was a rebel as a kid. I was just kind of hard headed. So, like. <laughs> I always felt like as a kid, we get disrespected by like older people so, because we're kids. So, and I didn't like that. I didn't so really what do you take mean that. by disrespected man, though? you know like, exactly what I mean, man. Older folks oh, talking to you. and not heard? Yeah, yeah, you know, like stay in a child's was, place and oh, all that. Was, like, damn, man. Like, that, huh? So just because I'm a little younger, I can't have an opinion. <laughs> My opinion don't matter. They make stuff for kids. My opinion matters. <laughs> you talking about that make stuff for kids? They do. I'm saying. My opinion matters, man. That's all, you know. So you was you was definitely on the talk back side. I, a little I, bit. I got a little, little bit, bit. A little bit. bit. And then, so I, you, you know, I learned like, my lesson, too. You know. Ooh, ooh come here. Cool. He cooked them. I don't know. Oh, who, yeah. oh, that's green. That's green. Ah. Hey. Oh. Yeah. That's green. Yeah. Come on. Uh. Hey, man, nice. <laughs> come on, man. That's a steal. Oh, he would hold last shot though. Wow. Hey, right before that in the corner, man. So, hey, what you he doing? Shoot it. He didn't Come shoot on, it. Man. He released. What you mean? So, what am I down? What am I down? Three? Four? Like Starting five, to four? Uh, no, I think it's four. Five. No, no, two possession. Two possession for sure. Okay. Gotcha. All right, bet. Let's get it. No, no, All right, man. Boy, start of the man. fourth, man. Start of the fourth. It, you know so I'm about, I mean? to, I'm about to distract the shot at you because you're cheating. See, see, you got the game clean. sliders up. So we about to start this uh, this SDR round. You feel me? Okay. So we about to just ask rapid fire questions. I need your answers. So Talk we about to start me. off real soft. We about to go uh, sweet potato fries Ooh. or regular fries. Sweet potato fries, man. Oh, you a healthy sweet dude for sure. <laughs> but you know what? Because sweet if you, potato. If you, if you get you the dress, right, hold on, you dress them with the right icing though. Because I'm, I'm, I still put some ketchup on it. Believe it. Oh wow. But if you get it, but if you get it from the right place, I promise you might not look hey. back at the regular fries. I okay, promise. all right. Well then, we, well, I'll take you. Know what I'm gonna need, I'm I'm need you give me sure hit for some. sure. I'm gonna need you give me hit for cousin. sure because I uh because I for sure don't rock with super tail fries. Oh Jesus, no help defense for nothing. We doing, we doing all right, you feel me? New York drill or uh, G Funk? G Funk, man, come on. Why? I need why? A, I need a why. Uh, come on, man. Parliament. I mean, all. I mean, come on. Fuck the funk. The funk is something that just come on, man. You can't explain. It's a feeling, bro. When you hear when you hear G Funk, you don't get excited. I get instantly excited. I feel like I'm on the West Coast. I can't even listen to that music when it's winter, cause you know what I'm saying. I instantly feel like I'm on the West Coast. Come on, man. Come on, and one. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. It's looking bad. It's looking right, bad for you, bro. Your favorite producer of all time. Man, looking bad. I'm good. Flying Lotus. I'm good. I'm straight. I'm straight. You said Flying Lotus. Flying Lotus. You Why? Hit? Are you hit? Why I'm hip. Why? I was playing a little bit. You know what was crazy, bro? When I first got hip to him, through like, it was like, probably like 2008 or 9, through like a adult swim. And okay. what made okay. it so Ironically dope was, you know what really made it dope for him, bro? Because he was a black electronic producer. And I thought that was the raw shit ever, bro. Because yeah, I didn't really know of any like yeah. that back then. You, you definitely know what I'm don't. Saying? You don't really hear too many. So back then, I thought that was really unique. And I thought that uh, 
on top of that, you know what I'm saying? He was he was really dope in terms of like his beats and what he do. So gotta gotta always give it up to him, man. My little come say today, man. His, yeah, knee, his, his knee ain't too messed up. Yeah, I hear you. Mortal Kombat, is, Mortal Kombat Street Fighter. Mortal Kombat, man, that's a no-brainer, man. Come on, bro. Mortal Kombat. Uh, yeah, I hear you. Oh, Mortal Kombat. Yeah, I hear you. What's, what's, what's your favorite? You tell me. Oh, Mortal Kombat. Okay, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> now the movies aren't as good. You know, I can oh, kind of pass on the movies. Hey, I definitely but, ain't but, watching none of the movies. But, if, but if, listen, if, it's, if we playing Sega and it's the '90s, I'm, I'm running Mortal Kombat. Oh, we gonna go straight. Uh, you know favorite, mean? favorite uh, Sega game though. Biggest, my favorite Sega game? Yep. Whew. Man, I love too many video games, but that's kind of hard to pick. But um, if I really had to choose, bro, I had this game called Eternal Champions, man. <laughs> and a lot of people didn't know what it was, I, but it was so I'm going to be real, I'm not hip. Okay. I'm not hip, but you know, you know, it it's been fun. a while since we played a well, Sega or two. We, we got the game on accident <laughs> because we were supposed to get uh, Aladdin. But they sent us the wrong game. We ended up playing it, and I ended up liking it. It was okay. one of my favorite games on Sega. Okay, I'll you gotta look it up though. I definitely. Especially will. Especially if you know your fighting games, you gotta look up Eternal Champions, man. I'll be real with you. Mine was. Uh, Give me the... Come on. Nah, man, you can't get this. Mine was for sure Sonic, though. I ain't gonna hold you. My Leonard knee is not messed up, bro. Wow, he's on his knee. It's not messed <laughs> it's up. Not, messed up. <laughs> not in real life. Nah, and Chris man. Paul don't got COVID. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. You know, hopefully Chris Paul good, man. I think I think he'll be I really straight because he. Uh, uh, wow. Let me find out Luke Kennard gets playing time. From here, man. Wow, you're disrespectful. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> hey, I didn't play that good either, bro. It's all love. Oh, about to bucket. Wow, let me find out KD misses all of those. All right. Uh, I got one more question, though. Talk. Can we finish up the game? Talk. Kanye West or Jay-Z? In terms of just period. Period. Overall, no overall period. What. Projects, producing, all of that. Not in, not in terms of the better rapper, right? That, yeah, overall, yeah, we talking yeah, overall, overall, overall. overall. Okay, man. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, okay. And, on, and okay. only because I, only, I need only, a why. Only because I feel like with Ye, I personally feel like listen, man. I personally feel like with Ye, uh -huh. you got a different project every time Ye drops. From the right. first project to his latest project, right? Every single project is different. Every he's kind of really like on some creative genius type. Okay, shit, right. Okay. You know what I mean, no disrespect. I love Jay Z. Right. I love Jay Z, bro. Okay. But if I really had to pick between the two as an overall career, like in terms of like everything, and I'm thinking like from artistic expression, music, and just overall, I gotta pick Ye, man. Okay. I'm sorry. I don't really rock with some of his, the way he moved. Right, right. Personally, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. You're, you're separating, I mean, yeah, you're separating the, the artist yeah, from the really person. Rock, I don't rock with how he moved. Artist from the person. Yeah, but, I mean, but if we're talking about art and right, talking about music, right. strictly, overall, strictly his project, I rock with You know what I mean? That's a bet, that's a bet. But you, uh, you barely beat me. It was close. Love, if man, you know, know KD it. hits a couple mid ranges and Kyrie, you know, doesn't go over. You know, it's okay. a it's a ball game. You know what I'm saying? Good, uh, but man. appreciate you coming out, Cuzzo. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Yo, you definitely gotta come back. You know, visit I with tell us. Auntie I said what up. Oh, for sure, you know man. I mean? Tell Auntie Lisa I said what's good. A couple weeks for sure. Pull up. For sure, you know definitely gonna pull up. Definitely for gonna sure. pull up. All right, man. This has been another episode of Button Mashing. Uh, you know, it's Don Jones, aka Barry Tom, man. We checking out. We're done. Cut that shit off. This episode of Button Mash is brought to you by Sunburst Studios.